I'm Erika Heidi, author of the Vagrant Cookbook, and I'm here to talk about the new features on Vagrant 1.5, released earlier this month. So, the first important thing, and it's probably the most important because it made possible other features, is the Vagrant Cloud. The Vagrant Cloud is a new service, uh, it's a website, uh, you can go there, vagrantcloud.com, and create an account. And it's, it was meant to make it easier for us to find and to share boxes because uh, before this it was not very clear. We had to go find third party boxes and it was not easy to share our boxes. So now uh, you have some featured boxes and you have, uh, you can have uh, access to all the public boxes that are shared. You can share your custom box which is really cool and it's not only about that uh, the new, there's a new way for defining the boxes in the Vagrant file because the boxes now they are identified pretty much like a repository and they have versioning also so now you have for instance uh, an identifier like your username slash the name of the box or your organization slash the name of the box and you just need to provide this in your Vagrant file you are good to go, we don't need to provide a URL to the box file anymore so in this fashion you don't need to uh, have different blocks uh, defining uh, boxes for different providers because uh, you can put uh, different box files in the same uh, box repository uh, so you just need to provide for instance hashicorp slash precise64 and it will be the same identifier for either virtual box boxes or VMware boxes um, but it's not only that the Vagrant Cloud the Vagrant Cloud also is essential for all their new feature that it's awesome, the Vagrant Share. The Vagrant Share is a new way uh, to share your work because now it's really easy for you to share your web server in the your virtual machine or to make uh, possible that other people connect to your virtual machine. Um, so. You just need to run Vagrant Share and Vagrant will connect to the Vagrant Cloud and it will give you a temporary uh, and random URL, a random name that you can use, uh, you can share with other people and they will be able to access directly your web server, the web server running on your virtual machine. They don't need to have Vagrant installed for that. They just need to use the browser and go to this URL and they will be accessing your virtual machine web server. So this is really great uh, to show your work for clients, for your boss, because they don't need to have Vagrant installed, you can share with anyone. And the Vagrant share is not only the web server, you can also uh, enable people to connect via SSH or with any other port uh, in your virtual machine. Now, regarding some security concerns uh, when you are using Vagrant Share, a lot of people is concerned about it and with reason, because uh, if you get your public, a public box like the default uh, boxes provided by Vagrant and the majority of public boxes they use uh, insecure and uh, key pair, SSH key pair and this key pair is publicly available in a GitHub repository you can get the private key and you will be able to access any uh, virtual machine shared with Vagrant Share that is using of course the default keys which is very common and it's not only this by default, you have uh, the username Vagrant and the password Vagrant and so they don't even need to worry about uh, getting this private key to connect they can just log in 
with this login and password that it's uh, default on almost all public boxes and this will be uh, this this can happen with any share it's not it's not only the HTTP share or SSH share anytime you share your environment uh, the Vagrant Connect will be available for other people to connect to your machine so you have to take care of the security of course they will need to know the name of your share so you don't uh, you are, are not supposed to give this name the name of the share the URL of the share for all the people like for anyone you just you need to trust the people you are sharing your environment with but don't worry too much because you can fix this uh, little security problem you just uh, need to do two steps the first thing you need to do is uh, change the SSH settings to um, to block password authentication so you people will only be able and you uh, and people will only be able to connect to the virtual machine using key pair authentication and this is the first thing you have to do and when you do that people won't be able to connect using vagrant vagrant okay so the next thing is you need to change the default key pair that comes with the default boxes with the public boxes because anyone can get the private key and be able to access your uh, share using Vagrant Connect so uh, in order to do that you have to create a key pair and you have to change the, the key the public key in your Vagrant uh, virtual machine so you have to log in first and log in and edit the authorized keys and change the key and also uh, add an option to the Vagrant file um, providing the location of your private key inside your host machine. If you want to learn more about Vagrant and the new features on Vagrant 1.5 check out Vagrant Cookbook on Leonpub.